Okay, give me a second. Un second. Wait, 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 wait. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to scratch his knee. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Doomba 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 doom. The ants go marching to. Why am I singing this? <laughs> I have no idea why I'm singing this, but I just want to sing this. I just want to sing this, okay? So don't judge me. Don't judge me now. And we're going to be starting off our stream in a little teensy weensy bit. Let me put this over here, right here. Yeah, that's perfect. And let's put this over here, right here. That's perfect. And we are going to start our stream right about now. Let's open this up. I'm currently playing with my current household. Yeah. Gotta close the door because my partner is out and I don't want him to come in and then start talking and then he doesn't realize that I'm on stream like he does that a lot. And then he's just going to be like, honey, I'm home. And I'm going to be like, I'm in the room. I'm streaming. <laughs> so, yeah, he does that a lot. It's a little weird. Okay. Um... First things first is let's hop over here. Let me just, um, I'm starting, I swear, I'm starting. Let me open up my YouTube. Okay, so I built this house. Um, I think I built this in, let me see if I can remember what year it was. Let's make this not nighttime, but let's make this afternoon time. I really love the lighting in this, um, in this G shade, but let me check the year that I built this house here. So the house that I am decorating right now, I built it. Hold on. Not my favorites, but let's go back to my house. And I built this house in 2020. I built this house in 2020, so four years ago. And I kind of wanted to revisit the house and update it. So I am updating it using some of um, Harry CC's coastal set. This house was the first house that I built with a passion. And I really love the way this house turned out. It has this huge porch out front. And then the, the top part, part here has like this really nice deck that I plan to put some stuff on. Maybe some beach lounging type chairs. And then um, the back porch is also very big. We have like this huge living room area here. I think what I wanted to do with this is just have the platform go all the way up. Like that's that's one of the things that I wanted to do. Just like make this platform just go up. So that it wouldn't be a little room. And there we go. So this would just be like an entire platform right there. So it's not a little room that you can look into. It's actually a platform. So that's what I wanted to do with that. And um, yeah, okay, that looks much better. I started working on the kitchen. Yeah, you would need a robot to vacuum. <laughs> Actually, thank you for reminding me about that because I could just literally put a vacuum cleaner down and just vacuum this. But 
I'm slowly working on decorating the house. And so far, the only thing that I've done is the kitchen. Oh my God. I'm like b literally building my dream home. Like decorating my dream home. What I would want to see in my house is what I'm about to put down. And honestly, I'd love to have a kitchen with like these really amazing huge windows that you could just look out. And um, I want to live in an area like this. That's just very countryfied, lots of trees and stuff like that. I want to live in an area like this. And then I also did like this tiny bathroom, which, oh my God, this bathroom is so cute. Like I really want to use it. Like the light coming through the window is just so pretty. Look at that. Look at the way the light is. Sims 4 lighting is just so amazing. Like I just love the way the light is just shining through the window. But anyways, um, it's on a 50 by 40 lot. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the backyard yet. Because originally I built it on a 40 by 30. But now it's on a 50 by 40. So we'll have lots of space to do some gardening and that kind of stuff. I'm super excited because I want to see how this yard is going to turn out. I actually want to have like a little pathway going this way. Coming around this way. Uh, maybe having like a pool or something in the backyard. I just want to have lots of stuff in the yard. The living room is not done. None of this stuff is done. Um because i started to get lazy like in the middle of doing all of this i just started getting lazy i'm just like oh my god i don't want to do this anymore it's i just started to feel so lazy like and i feel like the kitchen is too uniform but i cannot figure out what color Ooh, this navy blue color is kind of cute i kind of like the like you know the white aesthetic i don't know if i want it to be like a black and white kitchen i honestly just don't know like what aesthetic to go for do i go for like green oh this green is kind of pretty i kind of like this green i think this green is this green is the queen of the scene this green is giving this white is giving too but i i just don't know like what color i want the home kitchen to be the green is a little bit too strong i'm not liking the green i kind of like the white so maybe i should just stick to a white a white kitchen yeah i feel like yeah i i honestly feel like a white kitchen is is it for me a white kitchen and maybe make this a little bit darker i kind of like dark wood textures but i also like white wood textures as well so i just don't really know um maybe a little bit darker in here in the bathroom yeah i feel like that's pretty cute the maybe it's the countertops maybe if the countertops like a wait do I have two counters right here right now? Oh my god, I did. I did have two counters. That's weird. Okay, so maybe if I had like a darker wood texture. Oh. Okay, yeah. I feel like maybe a darker wood texture was what I needed. Yeah, definitely. Definitely need a darker wood texture here. I feel like this is now giving the kitchen some life oh yeah that is really nice and as the sun is shining through it's just making it look a whole lot different i like this i think i'm gonna stick with the darker wood on the top it was either that or marble and i just didn't feel like marble was gonna do it for me so this is just what it's going to be the stove is nice maybe we should have like a white stove or this one because this one kind of matches with everything else i do like this stove a lot like look at how many burners this stove has like this is just amazing harry did an amazing job with this cc i really do love it and in the back here we have like this cute little area oh this kitchen is so i want a kitchen like this like in real life i just want to have a nice kitchen that's like super big with lots of um lots of items anyways so it takes me some time i'm starting to get lazy i feel like i just want to put a bedroom down for her and then we can slowly work on this because oh god when i tell you guys i am just not in a mood i done used up the, the money that she had to buy all of this stuff and now she only has like five thousand left and i don't know how i'm gonna even do any of the rest of this because we don't have no more money so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna come upstairs and put a bed down for her i have 280 gigabytes of cc in my game and honestly it is much but majority of it is built by mode cc like literally oh what's this oh this is so cute i can't wait to have a baby 
I cannot wait to have a baby. These are just so cute. Why am I getting kids furniture? Oh my God, this is cute. Look at this. This is adorable. I cannot wait to have a kid. All right. So um, I'm going to save this house. I'm going to actually save this house. So let's save the entire lot. And I'm going to save it to the gallery. I'm going to save the house to the gallery. And then I want to show you guys a house that I built years ago. Well, not years ago. Maybe it is years ago. I don't know. Um, but I want to show you guys this house. So uh, this house is on a 50 by 50. So a lot of stuff might probably get removed, like the pool and stuff. I'm going to give my sim uh, the money just so that I can show you guys the house, right? So we're going to do... We're going to give a true million simoleons. And I want to show you guys this house. Because... I'm not a builder builder per se, but when I go out, I go, oh my God, I can't even remember where's the front. I think that was like the back of the house. So where's the front? I can't remember where's the front. Oh my God, it can't fit. And I wanted it to fit so that I could show you guys the stuff that I did to this house because this house is an ultimate dream. Um the yard was my favorite part okay let's place it and then yeah i forgot that this was not a 50 by 50 but it was actually a 50 by 40 um but i still think i want to place it down i did such an amazing job but i don't think i still have the same cc's that i had when i built this so i might have a lot of stuff missing in this build but this build was actually my my friend from america she built the house and then she wanted me to decorate it so she was just like oh um like i built this house this house that i had bought from second life and i built it and i wanted you to like um look at that 715 items were removed and 122 were substituted so that just goes to show you but oh, gosh this was like one of my best times decorating. Like I spent so many hours decorating this house for her. Like it's, it's, ugh. we, this was so beautiful to walk through the cute little pathway. And then in the night, the fireflies would light up this pathway. And then I had this cute little area here that you could sit down. If you guys would have seen this area, I spent so much time making her area look good. Like, and the house was well decorated because I had CC. Mm, look at that. Every room was themed. Look at this grand. Guys, I spent so much time building this house. And now a lot of the stuff is missing. But like, Jesus Christ. The nursery was my best work. I did so much good work in like the bedrooms and stuff. Like, But anyways, we're going to go ahead and bulldoze this. I want to see if... That's just to show my, my, my CC folder is not at its best right now. Okay, so the next one that I wanted to show you guys, I didn't really show you that one because that one was a hot mess, is this one. I built, the, the the house wasn't built by me. The house was built by Real Thomas TV one and I decorated it. Now, I'm a decorator. I'm not a builder. I don't build. I decorate. And when I decorate, I go all in like i spend so much time making sure that everything is perfect when i'm decorating and this is why i find it so hard to get rid of my cc these days because sometimes i just want to pull up one of my old builds from the gallery and i just want to have the cc that i used still intact you know so 351 items were removed and 60 build mode items have been substituted. You guys, that just breaks my heart. That breaks my heart. My achy breaky heart is just achy breaky broken right now. But look at this. I have this nice gazebo at the back where you could your sims could watch movies. There were so many little things that your sims could do over here. There was this amazing backyard that your sims could just swim. At. Oh my god, I'm liking the way the lighting is just hitting this house right now. Like it just looks so good. Um so let's start from the front. You have this nice little archway that you could walk through. And then let's go from the top and go down. I remember this was the teen's bedroom. If I did this um build on a stream 
years ago oh my gosh and I am so lazy like I just don't want to I don't want to have to go through the process of rebuilding everything you can see a lot of stuff was removed this was my favorite room this was a little kid's room this one still has some of the cc a lot of the cc that I had is gone but the most majority of it still seems to be intact and when I tell you guys I spent so much time this was like a personal office the kitchen was my favorite part it was just so well done oh, guys when I decorate houses I decorate like when I go out when I decorate I decorate anyways I'm starting off with another sim I'm starting off with the sim here I'm just gonna go ahead and remove her simoleons um, we're gonna start off with zero and we're gonna do something along the lines of a rags to riches for my current household I really just want to have this become um, a household that I play with for a very long time so I'm going to show you guys my sim. Her name is, uh, what's her name again? Ocean. Her name is Ocean Moon. This is Ocean. She is so gorgeous, so beautiful. I just love her big brown eyes. She's just so gorgeous. I just love her. So this is Ocean. I think I've shown showcased Ocean on, um, oh my, look at the little fireflies. Look at the little fireflies just lighting up over there. I really just love this world. It's just so gorgeous. I even added some of these trees and stuff around here. Is this tree glowing? Oh my God, that is beautiful. And what's that on the water? Is that the light from the moon or something? What is that? I'm guessing it's the light shining from the moon or something. This tree has these little things on it, which is super awesome. And then I added some of these trees up here. I just wanted this world to feel very lived in and vibrant. And so I added so much trees and stuff just to make it look a whole lot more lived in. Oh, look at this hobbit whole house. This is gorgeous. Uh, this is perfect for this little area and this one this has some lights stringing across oh my gosh what is this i wish i could copy like use the tool mod and copy these trees because that is very pretty but anyways let's go back to our sim it is 10 o'clock in the night and she doesn't really have anywhere to sleep so we're gonna do a little bit of traveling we're going to have to travel out of this world because there aren't places for us to... Oh, look. There's a cute little bench up here. I think she can kind of sleep on here, right? Let's go ahead and take a little nap up here, sis. This is where you're going to have to sleep. Let's speed you up. Oh. Why have I never seen this? This is gorgeous. Look at this cute little spot. That is so pretty. Why have I never seen that? It's gorgeous. I like that. Anyways, um, nap again. We're going to just take several naps up here. Yes, just nap it up, girl. Just going to have to sleep up. Oh, Lord, it's raining on us now. Today is just not our day. Today is just not our day. It is raining on us. It is 6.10 in the morning and today is actually fast food night. I do need to edit some of these holidays. So when you download this save file, there will be a full calendar of holidays. However, the holidays will not have any traditions. That was intentional because... That was intentional because of the fact that I was using modded... Um, I was using modded traditions at the time. And so I didn't want to put them there and then people would go into their games. So some of the traditions are there and some of them are not because I was using certain modded traditions. There's a strange mushroom. Let's go ahead and pick this strange mushroom. It is still early in the morning. Oh my God, she is hungry. She is hungry. She also needs to pee pretty soon. Ocean has been enjoying the natural world. Yes. 
Definitely. That is definitely her one true hobby. I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry. Pick Trip all up. these mushrooms. I wonder if she can eat this. Is she going to die if she eats it? <laughs> Spicy mushroom. This is one hot fungi. Tastes great if you want to feel the burn. Charming mushroom. This edible wild mushroom appears golden in color. When consumed, gives Sims a... Flirtatious feel. What? Why have I never known? <laughs> Why have I never known? Why did I not know about these mushrooms? What about this one? These mushrooms give you a boost in. Okay, sweetie, you are keeping these mushrooms. I am sorry. I never knew that there were mushrooms that could give you. What? Look at this cute little passage. We're actually in the fall right now, which is the worst time for us to be starting a Rags to Riches because A, it's going to be raining a lot, and B, it's going to be mostly cold. So we're definitely going to have to try and see if we can get her set up. It's such a rainy day today. We need to start doing some kind of fishing or painting or something to get us some money. So let's see if I can find a little fishing spot somewhere down here. Oh, wait, someone cooked something. Is it fresh? Mental what? Mentari Hidiat. Okay, please go ahead and um, eat that. I wouldn't recommend you do that in real life, but she's going to have to do it and use this toilet let's while she's doing that i'm kind of just going around because i want to see what's around this area this is so romantic for like a date night you sit here you kiss your one true love oh that is so sweet i like that is there like a little fishing spot here can she swim in this water no she can't there was a section of this world that you could go swimming in the water but I don't think this is it. Oh, look at this. These people have like these cute little cars parked up here that they have and then they can just walk over to their lot. That's cute. I really wish they would have given us greater opportunities. I thought that was a What? I actually thought that was an actual house. This looks so good. I thought this was a house that I placed from the gallery. Hmm. My camera is really shaky. I'm so sorry, but this is such a pretty house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a couple screenshots of this. Let's take a screenshot of the front. I'm sorry, it looks a little shaky. It's kind of giving me a headache, but. I just want to get some shots of it because maybe I might rebuild this house, okay? I might rebuild this house. Anyway, today is not looking like the perfect opportunity for us to stay here because it is rainy. So I think she will be spending a lot of time off of her current home lot just until we can make some money. So one of the places that I know has a tent is Willow Creek. Willow Creek has like this nice little camping area. And um, I can't remember if I have the same camping area in Oasis Springs. I cannot remember. I'd love for her to come down here. I want to remove some of these houses that are down here and kind of turn them into... Um, I want to turn them into lots that actually serve a purpose so like maybe a gym so we have a bar we have a cafe we have a gym and maybe i can start like a recreation center or like a small recreation center or maybe even a um community garden or something but we need to have something down here because um i don't want to have houses down there and put on bagley is small but it is perfect place to live and start out your cottage core dreams so we're gonna head down to willow creek and I'm going to head to the, let's go down to the Movers and Shakers gym. I think we're going to go down here and 
spend a little time at the gym. Now, in the save file, the gyms are not there because I forgot to place gyms, but I can give a list of recommended gyms that you can place down. I completely forgot about gyms when I was placing lots in the save file. So there are a lot of lots that just don't have, like there are a lot of um, worlds that don't have gyms in them. I think one of the only worlds that have a gym or two gyms actually is San Mai Shuno. And I don't think you'd want your sims to be traveling entirely to the city just to use the gym facilities. So, yeah. All right. So we just arrived at the Movers and Shakers gym. I cannot remember who this one is by, but if I do, I will link it so that you guys can go ahead and download it. It is perfect because it matches really well with the aesthetic that we have going on here. I initially had a restaurant here and I removed it because I just figured this world don't need a restaurant right now it needs a gym so and this gym is very very nice from what i'm seeing there's lots of exercise areas there's even a pool anyways i need to have her introduce herself to some people we have this lady named dewey let's go ahead and give her a friendly introduction because we need to make some friends let's introduce ourselves to some people girl where's she at Dewey seems uh, interesting. Hey, Finn. Oh, wait. She has a sentiment already. Let Let's open up the profile. So her first impression of Dewey is that Dewey is responsible. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, let's go ahead and continue talking it up with her. Let's tell her an outrageous story. And I'm just going to set the interaction. Try to make friends. And what this does, it just fuse up interaction so I don't have to do it. So while she's there talking to Dewey, I'm going to kind of show you guys the areas around the world. So this save file has a very heavy focus on tool. I tried to make the world very, very, very activity friendly. And by that, first, you know, there's lots of us that don't like leaving our home lot to go to different places just for a few minutes, especially if you want your Sims to go to a park. I made sure that every world has at least some activities for your kids to do. So even if your sim is living in a townhouse that does not have a huge backyard, there's still lots of stuff for your kids to do. So if you decide to come downtown with your kids, there is a little area here that your kids can actually do some swinging at. Oh, so this spawns here? I did not know that. Okay. It's a good thing I left this empty. This spawns here in the fall but i think in the summertime it actually spawns over here so there are little areas oh looks like ocean just befriended a rascal rascals are sims that embrace being a nuisance they excel in either being incredibly funny or incredibly annoying or both whether they opt for mischief theft or being downright mean every sim will know when a rascal is around i don't say she i don't think she really likes rascals i don't think she does I think she's the kind of person that would get very annoyed with somebody really quick. In the meantime, let's go ahead and harvest um, some pears. And yeah, let's continue back with the thing here that I got. Oh my gosh, the world looks so pretty in fall. So we have this nice little area for kids to express themselves. And you can bring your toddlers out too. There's activities for the toddlers to do. Over here, we have the same little um cooking area but i did add some trees to make this area feel a little bit more lush and vibrant and then as you come over here you have a little camping area and this is where we're going to kind of spend the night because there's a cooking spot there's tents that you can sleep in there's even a little shower and sink and a toilet bush and fishing areas there's a lot of stuff that she can do in this area so we're going to be kind of staying down here for the night my rule is she cannot stay in one place for more than two days. So if we spend two days here, we're not allowed to spend another night in this area. Because the thing is, the city has a time limit on how long you can camp in the area. So, oh my gosh, this lot is so beautiful. So you cannot camp in an area for a certain amount of time. Ooh, who is this? Okay, these guys are celebrities. Why do I have so many celebrity lot sims in my world? Amira Simmons, Samuel Maishuno. Let me tell you guys about Samuel Maishuno. 
So my sim, I was playing in a different save file. In this same save file, but in a different instance of the save file. And you guys, when I tell you he is a burglar, he broke into, he was dressed down to the teeth. I'm talking he had suit and tie, all of that stuff. And he broke into my sim's house and stole all of the coffee tables. Not one, not two, not three, but four coffee tables. And then she proceeds to fight him, but she lost the fight. And did you know what this man said to her? This man said, just because you wasted my time, I am going to take something else for my troubles. And then proceeds to steal the chess table. At the time, I didn't even realize that I had Carl's gameplay in here. So I had no burglar alarm, no way to fend myself. So he not only robbed me, but robbed me again after I fought him. And then he proceeded to steal a thousand simoleons out of my Sims money and left. These burglars have no chill. And look at him out here now, just chill. I'm not even going to talk to him because I'm disappointed in his actions. Like, dude. Your last name is Maishuno, which means that you must be related to the founding father of San Maishuno. And this is how you behave. You run around and... Anyways, this goes to show that some rich people are actually thieves. Anyways, moving on. She's having a nice... Oh my goodness, her friendship with Dewey. This is the second sim I've had speak to Dewey and they just have amazing friendship with her it makes me wonder if she's an alien and she's like literally <laughs> it just makes me wonder if she's an alien and she's like you know cuckoo in their brains anyways have a deep conversation with her and then you need to you did make good friendship with her who's freaking out Krista Krista Barnett being so extra oh my goodness it's such a beautiful day look at my sim look at how the sun is shining on her the world is beautiful it's so gorgeous in this world and the lighting too the lighting in this world is magnificent as well i'm gonna have her go and do those little things that i wanted her to do because we are broke right now we don't got no money so she's just gonna go ahead honey and pick these pears okay how much is that? Let's check your inventory. She also needs to pee. Did we not have other fruits that I wanted her to pick? Yeah, I did see some pears over here. Uh, go ahead and harvest these pears. Oh, there's onions over here as well. We can harvest those. Um, Harvest these bluebells. Maybe even use this pee pee bush. So she's going to fertilize this and then she's going to take a quick shower down here. And maybe we can do a little bit of fishing over here. So let's go fishing. Did I add anything else to this world? Oh, there's a wishing well. Okay. I'm going to have her. Oh, she's so broke. She can't even afford to wish at the wishing well. <laughs> let's sell the peers. Now we can. Let's make a wish for... Oh, we had to pay at least one simoleon. Let's wish for simoleons. Maybe we'll get some money. Maybe the wishing well will feel sorry for us and be like, oh my gosh, you're so broke. Let me just give you some money real quick. Okay, go ahead. Use the pee pee bush. I'm saving these mushrooms for like a later date for like a special occasion. Never know when she's out and she needs to feel a little bit flirty to complete a mission. Cancel the fishing. And just go straight over here to the wishing well. And let's see if we get a little money. Do we? All of the coins that the Sims have wished upon were suddenly regurgitated up and out of 
and straight into Ocean's wallet. So she won 6,756 simoleons. That's not bad because we actually didn't even have any money right now. So that's pretty good. There is a little spot over here that we can go fishing at. So I'm going to have her do some fishing, kind of gain that fishing skill. 6,000 simoleons is more than enough money. So sis, by all means, any little money that we get that can help us out right now would be really good. So go ahead and do your thing. Okay, so she's fishing. Oh, my phone is about to die. I got cables in all kinds of places. Okay. My phone over there. My phone is dying and it needed to be charged. I also need to get some water. Okay. I got my water bottle. We're good. We're good. Okay. Today actually started out as a very beautiful day in London. I'm super surprised because then again, summer is around the corner. We've got some strawberries over here. We're going to harvest those. Did you catch anything? Where did you get dirty laundry? I don't know, but we're going to need to wash these and we're going to have to pay this we're gonna have to pay to use the laundromat services there is a laundromat in oasis springs i made sure to put one down because <laughs> i want to i want to have that experience with my sims when i play with them i had not played the sims in a long time and now i'm back playing the sims and i just can't stop i've been playing the sims for an entire week now and I spend all day, I spent all day playing The Sims for an entire week. Because this is my final week of freedom before I have to start studying for my exams in May. And so I am just like studying it up. I'm just going to be studying it up and I will only have like maybe an hour or two to play The Sims in the evening. I have my exams and then we go off for the summer holidays and I'm super excited for that. Hopefully I don't have to do any resets in Jesus name because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with any resets. She keeps catching this one thing. She's not catching any fish. But she's feeling very focused right now. She's feeling energized. She's feeling eccentric. One true hobby is discovered. Fortunes abound. Deep connection. Fresh air. And she caught her first fish. A... Kicklid. Is it kicklid or sicklid or I'd say kicklid? Kicklids span in a wide range of body sizes. So no one size fits all for this kind. And this is a medium kicklid. Kinda wanna have my sim also collect a bunch of stuff. But I'm gonna sell them first before I collect them because um I think we have our collections open right now and we can see the things that we've collected so far so we have collected these mushrooms and um i think there's another mushroom that we can collect here and another one here and then there's these berries that we're gonna have to collect as well we only caught one fish so far and i don't think we found anything else like the other insects and stuff like that we haven't caught them yet but i am super excited i will be keeping track of everything that she has collected i cannot wait i want my sim to just experience everything that the game has to offer because i've never really done that okie dokie so Fishing is not really going too good for us right now. But I mean, she she is spending the night here, so it doesn't hurt. Maybe if we switch fishing spots. Yeah, like maybe if we switch fishing spots. I'll have her go fishing in this location over here instead. 
because we don't seem to have any luck. Oh, wait. There's actually this spot right here. And maybe you can order a shish kebab. See? Sims actually use these areas right here. And this one spawned right here. I wish I could just have them, like, spawn in all of these. It would be so nice if Sims could, if you could just click these objects and have Sims spawn there instead of just one. I don't know why this is limited. And if anybody can mod that, that would be amazing. If you could make it so that even if the object is placed off lot, that it can still be usable, that would be nice. Because it's this is still a part of the world, so I don't understand why it's not usable. That's crazy. And she is going to have shish kebab for dinner. So that's her little meal, because she was starting to feel hungry anyway. So she's going to eat that. And then tonight, we're going to do some night fishing. Ooh, we have a fruit tree here. Harvest tree for wood. Harvest apples. Actually, harvest the apples first, and then we'll harvest the tree for wood. And then we can come over. Where is that fishing spot? No, oh, it's right here. We can come over here and do some fishing until it's really late. And then we'll head off to bed. Because I think, yeah, it is late. Well, it's not that late. We'll do fishing until maybe around 1 o'clock. Ooh, and there is an onion right here. I need to delete this pitfall mod out of my um, inventory. because Out of my game because it's so stupid. I don't know why I downloaded it. It's very weird and I want to get rid of it. Sorry, I can't help you with this. Uh -huh. I was not talking to you. Okay, did you catch anything else? No, wait, yes, she did. She caught a tetra. She's not really doing a hot job right now. She is not doing a good job. But I'm going to have her fish until maybe around 1 o'clock. See if maybe her skill is... Is her skill going up? She's on fishing level 3, so why aren't you catching anything? She caught a little fish. She caught a guppy. Girl. We're not looking for guppy fishing. We're looking for you to catch some big salmon and stuff. What's that? What'd you catch? She caught an electronic upgrade part, which we're going to sell. These things, I'm saving them because I kind of want to plant them out on our home lot. So that's why I'm saving them up. Why do you have two lumps of clay? 300 simoleons. Okay, we're taking that. We're going to have enough money that we'll be able to actually build her a house. A nice small house. It's not going to be something big, but a nice small house. She's getting there. She is totally getting there. 24 simoleons. How much is this one? This is a kissing gourami. 42 simoleons. Oh, yes. Please get something else. She got another tetra. Oh, my gosh. I have her fishing all morning. No, mama. No. You need to sleep now. Hop inside of this tent and go to sleep. Yeah. Hop in the tent and go to sleep. I can't believe I, I didn't wasn't even checking the time. Poor girl. My poor Sim. Ooh, she's going to need to use the toilet pretty soon. It is Baker's Delight Day today. We also need to edit this one. Oh, it does have one. Bake a cake. Bake cookies. And that's just going to be it. 
Baker's Delight. This is what my calendar looks like. And this is what your calendar is going to look like as well when you download the save file. It's going to be very full of activities for your Sims to do. So be prepared. Be prepared. Because I promise you guys, it's going to be a lot of holidays. That's winter, 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 winter. And then I think this is spring. And then I think this is summer 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 so there's three weeks of summer three weeks of spring yes my calendar is like super full of activities i also need to add some activities in these empty slots here because we're not doing empty slots we are not doing empty slots but i'm super i this is the my absolute favorite feature of the sims 4 the fact that they added this calendar just made my entire year Please go ahead and harvest these lilies. Look for frogs. Let's see if there's anything else we can harvest before we leave this area. Harvest these pears. There's more lilies that you can harvest. Get out of this um tent. Harvest some more pears. Harvest these bluebells. Harvest these lilies here. We're just going to harvest a lot of these things before we leave there's strawberries right here there's onions right here we're just gonna harvest all of this stuff we're cleaning up this area get these snapdragons brandy broke need a challenge ignore the last time i did that it took all of my money away i am not playing that kind of game harvest snapdragons dig for this Look for frogs, harvest these strawberries, harvest these lemons, or pears rather, and then grab these bluebells. And we should be able to plant out some of these things. Oh, there's actually something that we can dig for over here and some snapdragons that we can get. So we're going to do all of this harvest thing. Today is going to be an exceptional day for my girl because we're going to have enough money. By the time we go back home, I'll be able to build her. Even if it's a square, I'll be able to build her something that she can live in. So I'm super happy about that. She needs to pee. I have her click the toilet thing, but I don't think... um. I don't think she can on her own find a toilet. Let me see. We still have this lot available to us. Yes, we do. Okay, and there should be like toilets, bathrooms, that kind of stuff. Yep, there's a whole spa up here. Okay, so we got female and male. This is the female bathroom. We're going to go ahead and use the toilet. And then I'm going to have her head back to her home lot because she is going to need to plant out some of these crops so that they can grow. I have this weird glitch in my game where if I plant something now, in a few seconds, it's going to grow. And I mean, it's beneficial to me because it's been very helpful. But at the same time, it's kind of weird. Okay, it's time for us to head home. So once you're done washing your hands, love, we can go ahead and head home. We need to start looking for a man. And I think I do have a dating site. Who is this? Maya Robertson. I First and foremost, I need to check out MC Command Center really quickly because MC Command Center is not doing what I want it to do properly. Let's go into population, populating settings. Import tray settings, import tray sim type, any saved sims get saved to the tray, right? Include the clothing, please. Import sim name. Yes, include the clothing because, um, If enabled, when a sim is set to use a custom gender, the cast gender settings will be set to match the frame specified. Okay, I don't understand that one yet. I'm going to have to um, dig into that. But it wasn't including the clothes and their appearances and stuff. And I really needed it to do that. So anyways, we are going to go ahead and head home. I need for her to get a man. Yeah, she will get a man. She will get a man. There's lots of... um. 
there's lots of opportunities for us to get a man. We have the Simda dating app right here. Which we'll be using once we get back to our home lot. And that's going to be a great opportunity for us to meet somebody because I wasn't really paying attention to the Simda dating app until I saw like, someone was using it in their YouTube video. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a great way for me to meet other people. So where's her phone? Here it is. Okay, we also have meet and mingle. But I'm going to do Simda dating app. And let's see what we can find. Oh, we've got some insects. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I accidentally clicked that. I was trying to click the insects back there. Collect those. Okay. And now we need to start thinking of planting out some crops first. So I'm going to plant out a couple of these things. I'm going to do two of each of these. You can plant these, right? Can she plant them? Yes, she can. Oh, thank God. That means I'm going to have an endless supply of these mushrooms right here. That's going to be so cool. We only had one of those types. Let's get these flowers as well. The snapdragons. And the lilies. And then everything else. Oh my gosh, 360 simoleons for those lilies. Oh, we're definitely selling them. We're selling them. Let's get the pears. I'm going to plant two pears and two apples. And then I'm going to sell everything else. So please come plant these out. And we're going to multi-select. Wait, before I multi-select, I need to breed these frogs. Breed frog with... I'm going to breed it with a tiger frog. Okay, now we can multi-select. And we're going to sell every... Oh, wait. I forgot that... I forgot the onions. Okay, now I can multi-select. And we're going to sell all these bad boys. And they are 1,100 simoleons. That was brilliant. Okay, let's open up this time capsule here. See what we get. Yes, plant out all of these beautiful crops. Ooh, ladybugs. I don't know how long they're going to be there for. Okay, so we actually got ourselves Leaf. I think Leaf is pretty cool, so I'm going to hold on to him. And so let's kind of start by building her a house because we now have a good amount of money that we can actually build her something to live in. So let's build her something. Uh, let's see what we can do. Now, guys, I'm not the best builder in the world, so just watch how I do my thing. All right, I'm going to do one big enough square here. One small square there. And another square here. That took up a lot of money, but that's okay. We're going to bring this square out by one. And that square out by another one. Bring this square out by one. Bring it in by one. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to move this over a little bit as well. And over a little bit as well. Bring this over here like so. And then at the back of this room right here, we're going to have another little square. Right here. Okay, so this is our house. <laughs> now it's time for me to build 
a roof on this house. Let me see how well I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna do like this. Oh crap, no, no. Let's, okay, I was moving this incorrectly. Let's move this over here. And then we can drag it all the way over here, like so. There we go. Now we're going to move, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna take the same roof, but instead of putting it that way, we're gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna bring this to give it a little bit of a, a curve. And we're gonna do, this one goes this way, this one goes this way, and pull this to the back here, like so. And then at the back here, which I could possibly just move this over here like so, and we'll just do this roof here. Turn it around, bring it across, bring it down so that it connects bring it down some more move it back so that it becomes a part of this and there we have it just like that and there we have it then we can just add some roof trim we only have about two thousand simoleons left but at least she has a small little house here and it's time for us to add some roof patterns i like my roof to be nice and dark so we're gonna do this nice dark roof right here and we're gonna match that up with this and then for our house wallpaper let's see what nice wallpapers we have what is this okay this is wood there's like a wood siding which i don't want to use do you have a nice brick? We do. We have a nice brick. I think I'm just going to make the whole thing brick. Yeah. Just going to make the whole thing brick. Ooh, that kind of looks weird, but whatever. It's a strong, sturdy house. Okay. Let's give it a door. Ooh, this is an interesting door. No, I'm not going to go with that door. I need to get like a nice. I need to get like a fancy bougie door. Oh, we don't have fancy bougie door money though. Hello, Delara. How are you doing? Thank you for joining the stream. Oh, we don't have fancy bougie door money. Oh, that's kind of cute. But maybe if I put like a little off center. So maybe like here. And then add some windows, right? Yeah, yeah, I totally see it. Okay, so let me put this door at the back maybe on this side. yes okay we're, we're, we're on to something and then we can just put some windows down i think i have those cheap windows by a winged llama as well and those should actually work so y'all we can actually afford a house now look at that okay let me put some windows down let me put maybe make this like really centered right so like that i don't think that's really centered it kind of looks off center to me but maybe that's just me one here another set there and then we'll just put like a double set right here that kind of looks weird <laughs> but we're not gonna even stress about it um i think maybe we can do a double set there and then we'll just do the same thing that we did on the other side over there with like two on one end and two on the other and maybe another ooh, another central right there okay so we have two thousand and two hundred and forty one simoleons left and i honestly oh thank you <laughs> I honestly don't even know, like, oh my gosh, it actually looks so good. I'm proud of us. Yes, it actually looks so good. Okay, so this is going to be her bedroom. This is going to be her bathroom. This is going to be like the living room. And then this is going to be like the kitchen, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that is perfect. I like that. No, maybe we should have like a, hmm. 
I honestly don't know if I want to have like a separate kitchen from everything. Okay, now it's time to focus on our floor. And I'm seeing we have this nice cheap floor. I like this floor so much. We're going to have to use this one. We're going to use this one for the kitchen and the living room. And then for the bedroom, I want to do carpets. I'm just going to have to find like a nice bougie off-white carpet. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, we're going to use that. Ooh, our money is going down so fast. It's like a blink and then boom, it's gone. Do I want to do like a stone floor in the bathroom? I once went to Croatia and the stone floor in their bathroom is so cute. And I've been obsessed with that ever since. I don't know if I want to do like terracotta or I mean, this terracotta is a little bit. Yeah, I mean, maybe if we get like a lighter terracotta. Ooh, that is so pretty. Okay, and then if we get some wallpaper in here. Yeah, we get some wallpaper. This. Oof. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, so we're just going to use this for now. And then for the bathroom, we're going to use the cheapest tile that we can find. Maybe this one. Oh, yeah, that, that's perfect. That's perfect. Let's get some doors now. Let's get some doors for the house. Ooh. What kind of doors are these? Oh, that is cute. Okay, this is straight to the point type door. Let's put a door here. Let's put a door here. And then I don't want a door for this. I actually want to have like an archway. Wait, because I did see this cute archway looking thing. It's like a door, but it's open. Ah, it's cute. Okay. And now we need to have some lights. I think I have these lights by Ravishin that like cast off like a really bright light. Uh, I have a lot of CC guys. Like I have so much CC. Like <laughs> I have 280 gigabytes of CC in my game. And people are always like, do you necessarily need to have that much? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you really need to have that much CC in it? Yes. I really do. I mean, but you can get rid of some. No, I really can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I love my CC. I love my CC. Okay. So there we go. Those are the lights I was talking about. Now, we can hardly afford anything else to put in this house. Oh, I have a great idea. I know this is probably going to take us out of money, but let's move the house. Let's move the house, right? So let's move it. Move the house. Oh, move the house. I forgot how to move the house now. Move it to about here. Yeah, move it to about there. And then I want to put like a little, I know this is this is probably the ugliest thing you've ever seen, right? But just just bear with me for a second. Just bear with me. I don't want the house to be on the floor like that. So we're just going to give it like a tiny, a tiny up thing. Just bring it up like by one. Because what I want to do is I want to give the house like this tiny little porch. Uh, Maybe not have it wrap the whole thing. So maybe like around there. And then I want to give it this small roof. Like a super small roof. So I'm not a good builder, guys. So don't judge, you know, if it looks ugly, you know, don't don't be too harsh and be like, oh, my God, girl, like, what is that? Like, it's so ugly. Like, <laughs> have mercy. Have mercy. Because <laughs> my builds are just not top notch builds. Oh, that's kind of cute, right? I think. If it's cute, say, woohoo, it's cute. <laughs> I think it's cute. I think it's cute. And then maybe we could put like a little window. Girl, we don't have the money for that. We don't, but. Oh, that window is too big. Don't we have a small one? Oh, yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, now let's do this. Grab our wall trim. Little roof trim. Boom. 
okay, we're going to need a little fence. We're going to need a little fence. The fact that I'm doing all of this and she doesn't even have furniture in her house yet is killing me. Okay, no, that is giving... It's... Uh, that is giving tacky. Let me see if I can find... Ooh, this is... What is this? <gasps> it's a cute little Christmas balcony thing! I mean, it would be nice if it didn't have the wreath on it, but I mean, that would be perfect for Christmas time. I might just do that. Why don't I have cute... Oh my god, what is that? Why don't... <laughs> Why don't I have cute fences? You would think with all the CC I download on a regular that I'd actually have a cute fence. All my fences are so ugly. Look at that. I mean, this is not ugly. This is perfect, but not for this type of... Not for this type of build. Oof. Oof. That's perfect for like a backyard, but not for what we're doing here. Um. No, that's just not giving. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I just can't find the right fence. No. Ooh. You're cute. Oh, that is cute. That is cute. The question is, is my sim going to be able to just walk up this? Oh, look at these stairs. Okay, let's try this and this. And we're going to have to move the door so that it it kind of meets up, you know? Oh, that's kind of cute. All right, guys, we have a house, but we don't have anything inside of it. So we're going to have to try and play it skimpy now. I do have. Oh, that's okay, Delara. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, hun. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that so much. Um. Okay, we're going to have to find, like, the cheapest bed. Things are not going good for us right now. We need a cheap bed. How much is this? One ninety nine. That's a little... Oof. Let's stop being so cheap. I mean, it is a kid's bed after all. Oh, I like the green color. Okay, we're going to have to use this bed. Yeah, we're going to have to use this bed. It's very cheap, but she has somewhere to put her head. Oh, my God. Look at that. We're all... <laughs> We don't have much money now. Um, Let's think about toilet stuff. She's going to need toilets and, and shower stuff. Uh Oh, look at this cute bathtub thing. 17 simoleons. Yes. Okay, so she shower is settled. I mean, I could always put a bush outside the house, you know, but <laughs> we're not going to do her like that. This one is 189 simoleons. It's not the best because it's like missing its head and everything, but it's just what's going to have to work. All right, let's get a sink. Oh, thank God we have a one simoleon sink in here. Ah, uh, we have a one simoleon sink. That's perfect. Ooh, this is cute. What is the? That is so cute. This is so cute, too. This is more a simplistic vibe. I kind of like this. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that, that is super cute. Okay. So that's her bathroom. We managed to give her a bathroom. Now, let's see if we can afford kitchen stuff. <laughs> this is why I love CC. Because even in your hardest times, you still can manage. <laughs> All right, let's get her a nice little one simoleon fridge. Can we afford countertops? Let's get her this cute little one simoleon Oh, look at this. Let's get her this cute little one simoleon countertops. Please put this on so that it can connect. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, we're going to put our stove like right here. And then our sink can go like right there. All right. Stove. Are you ready to rumble? Yes, we are. She can afford a stove. Sink. Cheapest sink we can find. Oh, oh, this one is 100, but still. Look at that. We have a tiny little kitchen. Why does this not have matching 
we can't all have everything, right? I guess. We can't have it all. All right. Um, we're gonna need like a cute little wait, did that come with like a with like an island or something? No. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Like how dare you create a counter but not an island? Ugh, the ghetto. And <laughs> The get the absolute ghetto. Like how how dare you? Ugh, disappointment. Okay, let's put a dining table down. The cheapest table that we can find is this one here. Ooh, that's kind of cute. I do like this one with the wooden, with the wooden top. And let's get the cheapest um chairs. So, 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 so. These ones look a little too fancy. Well, this one is one simoleon though. Let's get this. Oh crap. Okay, we're gonna put this down in the kitchen, like maybe over here. There we go. Oh, we're gonna need a trash can. And let's get one of those that will give us some money back. Ah ha ha. We have this one by Sibulette for 49 simoleons. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now we have bedroom stuff, we have bathroom stuff, we have kitchen stuff. We're gonna need some form of entertainment for her. Maybe a book to read or something, right? We're gonna need some form of entertainment. So I'm thinking a bookshelf would be perfect. This one costs 50 simoleons. And this one costs one simole. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, this is very nice. We're going to use this. There we go. Now we're probably going to need like a TV or something. I'm going to put this door like maybe a little bit here. Mm -mm. I'm going to keep that right there. We need um a television. This living room is very big and it feels weird. I, I don't know how I should have her television. Maybe we should have the 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 door over here like this and then put the windows like one window here and one window here like this, right? Something along the lines of this. Yeah, that that that's pretty cool. And then in the middle of all of this, we can have her living room. And I think I want to change the bedroom door, maybe move it a little bit closer here. So our living room can be in this little corner right here. Um, let's see how this all works out. Living room stuff. A fireplace. Ooh, we have these cheap ones by Leo Sims. I will always love Leo Sims's content because this person just knows how to make my day. Just because your sim is broke, don't mean your sim gotta be baroque, baroque. Okay, Paco Sims has this cute TV that I can put over the fireplace because what you twan about. All right. And now we can try to see if we can get a cheap sofa. Leo Sims coming to the rescue once again with this beautiful cheap coastal sofa. Look at that. Oh, that color is so majestic. Cute little cheap sofa, which I can put maybe two of them. Two little sofas right there. Two sofas is kind of weird. Oh, this cute little bench in the hallway here. Over here. Let's try to get a rug. Look, we were able to furnish her house and we don't even have money like that. Look at how many rugs I have, bro. Look at all these rugs. That is so cute, but I'm not going to put that one down. I got these ones off um, Curse Forge by Sam Tews months ago. Okay, this is cute. I like this. Can we get a coffee table? Oh, le pouf. You just never disappoint. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I like this coffee table right here. Let's use this one. Oh, that is cute. A plant. A plant is what's going to make this. A plant is what's going to. Oh, a plant. Oh, <laughs> plants. A few plants. Is this what's going to turn this up a notch? I am digging. Le digging. I am dig le, le digging. I am digging this living room right now. It is so cute. 
a le lamp? Can we get a le lamp? A lampa? A lampa. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Very magnifique. I love it. Okay, and what about this? Oh, that's cute. But what about that? Oh, oh, Sivotnya. <laughs> If my boyfriend was in here, he would crack up because he would know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Our little house is kind of getting there. The next thing we're going to need is some curtains, but I don't think we have the money to afford curtains right now. I mean, we have some curtains here, but these curtains are not giving what they're supposed to give, right? So we're not going to even mess around with these curtains. There's these cute curtains here. But as you guys can see, they're a little bit uh, bulky-ish. It just makes it look like there's wind ruffling the curtains a little bit, which is kind of cute. I like that. I do like that very much. There's also these cute little curtains here as well. We've got these ones and these ones. They're at academic, uh, dark academia. They're kind of super tall though. And then we have these uh, window blinds by a winged llama, which would be perfect to put in the middle of these windows. But I am having some issues putting them down because they seem to just keep slotting up here instead of where they're supposed to go. Pillin, small curtains. All oh, these curtains are cute. Why do you keep going up there? What is your problem? Okay, let me try and move this down a little bit. This curtain is super cute. But as for why they keep snapping up top here, I don't know why it does that. I think it's the window that's causing this issue. These cow curtains are cute as well. Well, we can't really afford curtains because we only have like 413 simoleons. I think with the 413 simoleons, we should be able to afford a bigger bed for her. So I'm going to look for a bigger bed. Let's see if we can find something a little bit nicer than what we have for her right now. Oh, this bed is cute. We also have this. There's lots of pillows and cushions. Ooh, this bed is cute. Okay, maybe we can do this bed. Oh my gosh, look at this pillow set. Oh, that is gorgeous. That would make the bed look so full of pillows. Look at that. The bed is just full of pillows. Uh, maybe we can pull it back just a little bit more. Like so. These pillows are not for this bed, but... My boyfriend would be super annoyed with me if our, our bed literally looks like this. Like it has all of these pillows on there and he's already getting annoyed. You know, having to come to bed every night and having to toss like 16 pillows off. Which table should we use? I kind of like this table more. He's already complaining about having to toss 15 pillows off the side of the bed every night. I'm going to put a little alarm clock. Let's put this little one right here. And let's make it pink. And then I think we're going to need a dresser. Let's see if we can get a cute little dresser for her. Oh, I think I want to put this in the hallway. It's giving hallway vibes. So I kind of want to put this out here. And then there was one cute dresser that I had that I like. This one. This dresser is super cute. I like it so much. So we can put this dresser right here and then we can get a mirror. Oh my gosh, do you guys see how much stuff I was actually able to put in this room and still have money left over for other things? That's crazy. That's cray cray. We can even afford a vanity table for her, but we're not going to do a vanity table just yet. Let's grab this plant by Novus. And we're going to pop one here and the other one right here. And that is perfect. Okay, so we now have 70 simoleons left to our name. But we were able to kind of get her some stuff. 
I think I want to put this little thing. This is her first collectible item. I'm just going to drop that down here. And we're going to have to take our laundry to the laundromat today. It is 5.23 p.m. She's actually very tired. Um, so maybe we might just kind of go and get something to eat and then kind of head out. I think I'm going to have her cook something. Actually, no. We need to afford our bills and we can't. We don't have money to afford our bills right now. So let's go ahead and water all of our crops. Just kind of speeding through the process of her doing this. Uh, we're not going to be able to cook stuff right now because we don't have we don't have enough money left. Oh, how devastating that is. I need to move my mailbox, actually. I need to change my mailbox because it's not fitting the aesthetic. I think I have some mailbox replacements. I think I have some mailbox replacements. So I'll be able to put a mailbox down. I was just in build mode. Why are you taking so long? Oh my goodness, this is taking quite some time. Give it a minute, give it a minute. So it can get to us. Okay. I don't even think we're going to be able to afford a mailbox. Oh my gosh. It's not done loading yet. Okay, um now we are we now we are able to move this. Oh, I'm getting a little lag all of a sudden. What's going on? Mm, I think our mailboxes would be in here. yeah and since i want to have a different mailbox oh crap i can't afford this one it's a hundred and mm, it's a hundred and nineteen simoleons that's the mailbox i actually wanted to have but we're gonna do this victorian mailbox which we're just gonna put right on the side of our house right here that makes it a whole lot easier and then we're just gonna go ahead and sell this Oh, that looks perfect. Okay, so now we can click on the mailbox and we'll be able to get our mail. I think she does have some sort of mail. So let's go ahead and check that. Oh my gosh, my poor child. You're so sleepy and tired. Wait, you can't reach a mailbox? Oh my God, Jesus. I have to go back in here and endure. Okay, can, can you reach the mailbox now? Nothing has been delivered to your sim recently. And we can't even afford our um to improve our bills. We can't get quick food from the fridge because we don't have electricity. So we're going to need to make some more money. Are these crops ready yet? Because usually there's this glitch that makes them ready. But they're not ready yet. Um, Is there anything over here that we can collect? I mean, there are some more of those mushrooms up here. The Harvest Nightly Mushrooms. There are some more of those mushrooms up here. Uh, 
Okay, it doesn't look like this part of the world has... Oh, she can actually swim here! I mean, she can't swim here. But she can go swimming here. Ooh, this is nice! This just changes everything. I think when I have a little bit more money, I will use the tool mod and I will add some tents around this little area here. Like I will add a tent here and a tent here. And then I'll put like a little camping stuff there and I'll put some food stuff there. So your Sims can actually swim here. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. And they can swim right up to the waterfalls. I didn't even know that. I swear, I love using the tool mod to do stuff like this because it's so good. What is this thing? It's like a giant abandoned house. What's up here? Ooh, choco berries. I don't know what a choco berry is, but she's going to go harvest that. And in the meantime, let me see what she has in her inventory. She just has these two mushrooms here, which is... We now have 118 simoleons. Oh my god, poor girl. Can you please just walk a little faster? You have so many things going on for you right now. I really don't want her to die. But just collect these mushrooms here. These give us a boost of energy. Ooh, actually, maybe you can eat one of these. She's going to go get the choco berry. Oh, crap. Yep, I knew she was going to pass out. Eat this. Okay, so she can only eat one at a time. Come harvest these choco berries. Oh, it did give her a little bit of energy. So I know she passed out, but... It gave her a little bit of energy. I'm going to go back over to her house. And I am going to have her try to go to sleep. She doesn't really have food to eat. I'm going to be honest. We don't really have food. We're going to sleep until the alarm rings. Hopefully she gets home before she passes out. Please don't pass out before you get home. What are these little blue lights? I don't know, but I really hope that she doesn't pass out okay there she goes she's in bed i really cannot wait to put some curtains up because it just looks very bare i mean like look at this you can see right into her house it just feels really bare without curtains i always just put curtains in my sims houses speedy gonzalez <laughs> oh my goodness stop oh she needs to pee 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 go Go use the toilet. And then you need to take you a shower. Oh my god, we have no water. We can't even take a shower. This is ridiculous. And it doesn't make any sense we sell anything in this house. Because, oh, we'll have money now. Come on over here, girl. We'll be able to sell all of this stuff and we'll have money that we can pay our bills. No, you don't dislike gardening. You're going to like gardening. Okay, how much money is that? 950, that's nearly a thousand simoleons. That is perfect. Okay, I need to, first and foremost, show bills information, home services, and we're gonna do the premium welcome home package. That's gonna leave us with a little bit of money left, but I want her to have everything. And we have 68 simoleons left. We're going to cook. And what can we cook? Pau de queijo. Eggs and toast, burmese samosa soup. I think we're going to make a party size serving of that just so that we can have enough for the next couple of days that we don't have money. We're also going to need to try and go out on the town today because we're going to need to meet some people and try to get a little bit more money because we do not have much food. And when the bills come around, we're going to be needing to pay them as well. So she's going to cook her food. Did she take the shower? Oh, she couldn't take the shower. Let's take a nice steamy shower to get off some of that gunk because you do smell like a skunk. <laughs> she smells bad, y'all. She smells real bad. Okay, come on, let's go. 
make your soup eat your soup and then we're gonna be going out oh she's taking a shower first okay that's okay let's go ahead and eat a serving once you're done taking your nice little shower i'm only speeding this up because i mean it's just her and i'm not gonna sit around and watch her do this stuff it's just her but once she has like a husband or something dewey is calling us it's good to hear your voice ocean I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Pamela Cron a little better. They seem like good company. I think you should go for it. I'm all for people making friends. Oh my gosh. I was just saying that we should go out on the town and meet people. But we actually have neighbors. And they're bringing over their favorite slices of cake. Ooh, this time it's cupcakes instead of the nasty fruitcake. Eat your soup and invite the neighbors inside. Go ahead and invite them in. I told her to go take a shower. Get in the tub. Why are you wearing all this clothes? MC command center, MC dresser, outfit commands, clean outfits. Okay. That should take all of that crap that you had on off. Okay, so she's taking her shower so she can smell nice and fresh. And we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to these people. We've got Vanessa Courtney. We're going to give her a friendly introduction. Janelle Benson. Let's um, discuss some interests with her. We've got David Jeremy. Jeremy? David Jeremy? Let's give him a... Let's give him a... Or we just greet new neighbor because I don't know how to find the friendly introduction. And I guess this is his wife, Sarah. And then I guess this is her husband, Charlie. And I guess this is her husband. Oh, not everybody coming over with their husbands to try and make me feel like crap. Oh, I'm the only singleton here right now. It's like literally a couple's affair. But I mean, if I become friends with them, then that means we can always get invited over to their houses. We can have like um, friends date nights and stuff like that. Oh, this is going to get interesting. She has some sentiments already. She has one sentiment with uh, Vanessa. Let's open up Vanessa's profile. So we think that Vanessa is imaginative and responsible, and Vanessa thinks that we are responsible. She's they also have good compatibility, and her spouse is Charlie. So that's that's pretty cool. So we know Vanessa, we know Charlie. We're now about to speak to Janelle. So we're gonna gossip a little bit about neighbors. It's funny how she can talk to Janelle without giving her friendly interaction, but she's not there. And apparently she has bad compatibility with Mr. Charlie. So her and Charlie are not seeing eye to eye. A dog was adopted by the Charmant family. Okay. See they out here adopting dogs. Oh, these are the people that we need to talk to. They're just over here having their own conversation. I like that. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, we're, we're not really interested in what's going on right now. Hold on, I need to adjust this window over here because this window is... um. Let me minimize this and bring that up. Okay, that's perfect. I was wondering why I wasn't able to see the chat properly. Just in case anyone's chatting, I didn't, I didn't have it like pulled up properly. Um... Okay, so they're having a nice little conversation. She's invited all of the people over. There is, There are cupcakes, which I am going to pop into the refrigerator before somebody decides to take their cupcakes and go home with them. I really don't want that. Uh, what do we have in our inventory? We have these choco berries. What are these? This fruit tastes just like chocolate. Wow, finally, a healthy alternative to chocolate. Choco berry. Oh, that's kind of cute. Let me two of them down and I'm gonna go ahead and have her plant them out go ahead and plant it out oh look we've got some insects we can collect as well I like 
this mod by lot 51 it's called the bugged out mod and it makes it so that you will see all of the insects that you see in um granite falls you'll actually be able to collect them in the world that you're in and i think that that's super super cool because i don't always go to granite falls i can tell the last time that i've been there but with this sim we are going to be definitely doing that i would like for you to set up a nice little dating profile we're gonna go on the sim.dating app and we're going to start seeing if we can meet some people. Speed that up. I want to go on a specific date because there's a specific sim that I specifically want to date. So hopefully we can find him in here. Hopefully I can find him in here. I don't even remember his name. The fact that her name is Sarah Tonin. Like... It cracks me up every time. Every time. Where is he? Oh no, that guy that I want. You know what? I don't see him here, so I'm just gonna skedaddly deed to his place. I'm gonna skedaddly deed. It's time for y'all to go home. Go on home. Go home now. Time to go home. Um, One of the things that I wanted to do before we go out is I need to give her a raincoat. I want her to have this nice pink raincoat right here so that's gonna be her raincoat and she'll wear that when it's raining again and we're gonna go ahead and travel lady if you're in my house you can please leave thank you very much we are gonna go to we're gonna go to the sim the man of my dreams not you mr mckinney we're going to visit you because you are finer than wine and you are going to be my wait before we travel to Mr. McKinney's house because I think there is another sim that I would love to visit and I think he lives in Chestnut Ridge oh let me see if I can find it do you live here oh yes it's Maurice Foreman okay he was created by X urban sims x he is so fine he is so fine. I would love to start a nice little foreman family with him. So I had to drop him in my game because he is finer than wine. <laughs> so I dropped him in my game and I do not feel guilty doing so. Okay. We're going to visit his house personally. We're paying a visit and we're going to come over here and be like, I had a psychic premonition about you. And here he is rocking on his um chair oh god look at where he lives why have i never thought of living in this world i mean it's not the cutest thing but it's very secluded it's giving country vibes maybe eventually you know you never know maybe in the second generation of all of this we might have a sim move over here anyways um i'm kind of ready for her to have babies and stuff so we're we're not going to even care about what conversation we're having right now i just want to have kids so that this can move on have a deep conversation ask about his romantic interests let's get straight to the point boast about family that you don't have discuss interests discuss work we're just gonna try and have a relationship because i'm ready for her to have a man i'm ready for her to get knocked up and waddle around all pregnant and that kind of stuff right I mean, we can't have an interesting story. The, the storyline is not going to be interesting if we're rushing it. But I've been playing with her for too long, so we need to rush. All right. I've been playing with her as a single sim for too long. It's time for us to move on. Let's share some ideas with him. And it's time for us to flirt, okay? Let's, let's do some flirting. I'm still exploring, trying to figure stuff out right now. Well, I'm going to help you figure that out. And it's me. Pretend wedding. Pretend wedding. That's strange. Deep conversation. Yes, we're going to pretend Mary, this guy. Oh, my God. She learned that he is gloomy, active, and jealous. Ooh. Ooh, I like me. A toxic man. Not in real life. I don't. Not in real life, but she does. Okay? Ooh, she like her. A toxic man. That's what I should have said. <laughs> that is what I should have said. Ooh, she like her. A toxic man. Yes. She likes her. A toxic man. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, give him a romantic gift. Let's give him this choco berry. I don't think he's going to find that too romantic. But uh, look at them pretending to get married. 
Oh my goodness. Look at them. Oh, they kissing and everything. Pretend marriage. Y'all just did that whole interaction just there. You already kissed him, so I don't even think there's going to be a first kiss. Because if it's a first kiss, it's a lie. If it says first kiss, it's going to be a lie. Because he just stuck his tongue in your throat. Yep. It's going to be a lie. New beam. Squarble Tarbahe Farbina. He's out here talking about rain and crying and all kinds of gloomy crap we're, we're not interested in. Affection. No, it's too soon to declare love publicly. It wasn't too soon to pretending to be married. Declare love publicly, child. Now, people, if this was real life, this would not happen. I mean, technically, this kind of happens sometimes in real life. We just don't see it on a daily basis being portrayed like this. Uh, but if this was real life, you know, I would not do this, man. I would not just show up and, I mean, technically that's kind of how I'm in my relationship right now. But, uh, it's been four years, so it worked for me. It doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's, um, let's flirt. Let's ask me if he's single. Obviously he is, because he live alone. Discuss work. Oh, he is flirting back. Okay, we're not going to discuss work no more. Cancel that interaction. What is this? Give romantic gifts. Cancel that. Oh, my gosh. She tried to sing, and he was like, girl, shut the hell up. You sound horrible. Serenade him again. Oh, you rude man. How dare you talk to me like this? Ooh. Collect insects? collect insects okay at least he enjoys my singing now because before when i was singing to him he didn't like it but he liked it now he liked it now he said "Ooh, you improved i had to walk away for you to catch your voice okay ask him a risque question is that gonna be a little bit too much Ooh, their friendship is going up and they are having a very suggestive conversation affection physical intimacy Ugh. Flirtation. Compliment his appearance. I need for these other interactions to unlock. Please and thank you. Romance. Let's ask him about his woohoo interest. Collect these insects over here. I am sick and tired of this. Kiss him. Flirt with him some more. He's flirty now. Now is the time. Leave the butterflies alone. Come cuddle and do all of these things with him. What is this? Yes. Yes, girl. Flirtation. Exchange phone numbers. She's going to be like, are you going to call me later? He's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to call you. I'm definitely going to call you. <laughs> His neck. We trying to get down with the get down. I'm ready for these interactions to start expanding. Attempt to seduce. Sexual seduction. Oh. I'm gonna take my time. She gonna get before I. I'm gonna take it slow. I'm not gonna rush the show. So he can get his sexual seduction. <laughs> Oh, oh. That's so weird. <laughs> Sexual. First kiss, period. Let's go. Stop all that talking. None of that. None of that. Kiss him on the lip. Period. Oh, even the two little hearts right there. Just show the romance is in the air. I'm going to tab this. Buzzing. Okay, we, we just took a beautiful picture. Oh, she got him dead on the lip, too. Usually, some of my sims kind of miss the lip. But she didn't miss the lip because his eyes is open and her eyes are closed. And she knew she she caught his bottom lip, though. But she caught him right on the lip. Let me just. <laughs> she caught him on the lip. Oh, that was not a good picture because the house, the house is. Why are the house looking like that? Is this not a real house? Sir, where are you living at? As soon as I zoom in, everything starts disappearing for him. Oh, let's 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 zoom in a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Yes, let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, I gotta have a couple pictures of my Sims kissing because you just never know. You'll never know. 
Sir, I don't think I knocked on your door yet, right? Let's hug him. Let's kiss him again. It's time for the boyfriend thing to show up. Please show up. Physical intimacy. Make out, serenade, pretend wedding, romantic interest, flirtation, compliment his appearance. Where is the boyfriend and girlfriend thing? Please don't let me have to use UI cheats to make you be my man, okay? I'm trying to be civil here. I'm streaming and I don't want to look uncivilized. So please just accept all of these flirtatious advancements and let the little boyfriend thing come up real quick. How many times do I have to kiss your neck? For you to just see what I'm trying to do here. Whisper seductively to him. Whew. This thing better pop up. It better pop. What's this? Okay. Friendly. No, not friendly. Romance. Flirtation. Attempt to sit. Okay, look, look. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. He wasted my time. I'm not here for all of that. 32. Oh, no. Wait, oh, I, I thought I crashed because I was just going to be like, no, no, I was going to. Okay, 70. I don't got time for that. Run cheat, period. There's a world famous circus in town. Girl, I ain't got time. I'm trying to start a circus in his house. Please, sir. It is time. It is time. <laughs> it is time. Okay, yes. He has officially decided that he's going to be my boyfriend. Yes. He is, uh, he is Ocean's boyfriend now. Okay, so how do we ask him to move in with us? How do you ask your sim to move in? I never know how to do that. So let's click on him. A-S-K. More choices. Roommate. Ask to be new roommate. Friendly. Small talk, ask, ask, ask about personal deep thoughts, ask the cloud gaze. How do you ask him to move in? Ask my favorite fashion. I don't give a damn about any of this. Move in with me. Wait, he can't move in? Do I have a mod in here that blocks that? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Ask him to join our household and boy, bring all the money you got because we need every penny you got. As soon as they get back to the house, it is going to be a try for a baby session. Oh, yeah. Moving in together. Okay, period. Oh, he got money. You got money. You got money. Yes. Sell all your lot furnishings, boy. <laughs> 65,382 simoleons going once, going twice, sold to the girl in a black t shirt with a bonbon twist on her head. Okay, it is time for us to go home and start living a life of luxury. Ha, hustle home, love. Hustle home. <laughs> I just came over here and cheated a whole relationship. <laughs> this man probably got hit with whirlwind thoughts. He's thinking, how did I end up in a relationship with this fine ass woman? I don't know, but I did. I mean, she's wearing Alpha CC mixed with Max's match. So she on some different type of bad B level. But I know he understands. We need a horse because this running around crap is not working for me. We need to buy them bikes, okay? They could have been pedaled on a bike and came down here. We need cars. They giving us everything but cars. Horses, bikes. What happened to the cars? The cars. I mean, I don't really think cars make no sense right now we are literally so many packs in i don't think us having a car is gonna change anything we need to switch control to ocean yeah i don't i don't really think that if they added cars to the yard tomorrow it would really change anything but i did download a mod today that i think is super interesting and I cannot wait to show y'all this mod. I I cannot wait. I would say that she is romantic, yes. Because, I mean, she just went over there and romanced the whole man into her house. Get out of this bed, please. What were you going to do? Get out of this bed. It's time for y'all to try for a baby. I'm not... Try for pregnancy with Ocean. We don't have time for that. Stop watering stuff, yes. Stop watering stuff. Sir, 
Ocean, ocean, ocean. Don't, don't, don't piss me off now, girl. Don't piss me off, please. Let's go. Let's go. Business is business. Money is money. Pleasure is pleasure. We got stuff we need to do. What are you doing outside? Do you not see the time of night? Again, try for pregnancy with ocean. Oh my God. He cannot try for pregnancy with ocean. Go here. Go here, sir. Please go in the house. Maybe he wants Ocean to make the first move. Maybe he's just like, damn, we just moved in and you already forcing us to have baby. Yes, I am. They are not. Oh, wait. Is it because I have the RPO mod in here? Let's try to ask him first if he wants to have kids. Why didn't I ask him that before? I probably should have. Let me see in his thing what his response is going to be. He would be happy to have a child. Oh my gosh. And she would be happy to have a child. The two of them are just perfect for each other. I love it. I love it. Can you now go ahead and try for a baby? He can propose. Propose. Do it now. In the kitchen. We're not even going to go out and be... Oh, I thought she he was going to do it. But she's doing all the magic. She's doing all the work. Mm -hmm. she proposed to him while in her raincoat how romantic right in front of the window let me kind of back up a little bit because i'm all up in their faces and it's not a cute look it's not a cute look okay um all right y'all they they engaged they engaged now you can you can get knocked up now i think it is appropriate come on let's go let's go to the bathroom, to the bedroom, to the window, to the wall, to the wall, to the no, 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 no. Why are they having interactions with each other? What's going on? What, what's going on? Oh. You guys, something ain't right. They are not boohooing. Okay, how about... Passionate gifts. Oh, oh, how about? Oh, that's a lot of money for a, a heart necklace, a fancy wristwatch, two thousand five hundred dollars. Give him some flowers and chocolate. Come on. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you. You are my life. Oh, she's giving him flowers. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, she's giving them flowers. Oh, that is adorable. I'm sorry, I'm screaming in y'all ears, but that is adorbs. Later on in life, I'm going to be looking back at all of these pictures that I took of my Sims, and I'm just going to be like, oh my God, that is so cute. She's like, I got you chocolates, the expensive kind. He's like, oh my gosh, babe, you didn't have to. She's like, I know you like this type of chocolate. So I just thought that maybe I could get you something a little bit nice. And he's like, oh my God, babe, these are so nice. Would you like to share one with me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is giving me perfect photos. Like what? I'm going to have to give him a makeover, right? But, like, look at her feeding him chocolates. He's like, ooh, this chocolate is real good. Here, you can have a piece. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm not a cry. I mean, their relationship started off forced. <laughs> it started off very forced, but... He, he just told her, I love, oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, I have like the biggest grin on my face right now. I have like the biggest grin on my face right now. Like, oh, that hug must mean so much to her and him.
I am taking so many photos right now. I am so sorry, you guys, but this is just a moment. This is just too cute. This is absolutely just too cute. And I'm probably going to have to take some of these pictures as well. That is just too damn cute. All right. So uh, that passionate gift mod was a great addition to my game. I feel like it just honestly added so much intimacy to them just now. I feel like their connection was just made stronger by this so we're gonna assign the left side of the bed to maurice and the right side of the bed to ocean and i guess it's because they're both sleepy so she's gonna go ahead and go to sleep and he's gonna go ahead and go to sleep i did want the two of them to try for a baby tonight but i just think they maybe they're just trying to build up you know some kind of romance and um Thank the Lord they have a little bit more money because I'm about to throw some curtains in this house. I'm so sorry, but curtains are necessary. The house just feels so bare without curtains and it just feels like they're being spied on at every little moment. Oh, what is this curtain? Oh, this is kind of cute, but I need an angel calling an angel. Send me a name. Right, do. Okay, let's see. R I D E A U X. Riddle. That's what we're gonna put. I'm probably gonna be ending off this stream soon because my stomach is killing me. Like, I've been trying to ignore it for the past hour and a half, but it's growing to the point that I cannot ignore. okay it's finally popped up this thing oh i had to pause for a moment because i had like the biggest cramp just now mm. so i had to pause i had to pause for a cause i'm so glad it's like coming towards the summertime because my hair is finally growing properly again my hair goes on a hiatus guys it literally does it's like it grows today and then it's gone tomorrow type thing like and that is an issue i've been having with my hair since i moved to london it's just been really annoying you know it's been absolutely annoying how my hair has been growing uh okay so we have short i think that it doesn't matter like what side i put it on right for this and there is a middle part so we definitely have to put that okay there we go. And then we can put this right here. I mean, it doesn't really seem to... But we can do, like... No, because in that super short... Do they have, like, bigger ones? Mm. Ooh, I do like these curtains right here. These are gorgeous. Ooh, those are nice. Okay, so I'm just going to put... That one is... Pattern... How do I know if it's like left or right or it doesn't matter? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put them down first and then I'll put the stick thingies. Like I'll put them like this and then I'll put the little stick thingies. Let's do left. Left, right, middle. Then I can move these. Like so. Move this. Like so. And then we can do that again. Middle. Left. Right. Um, right. 
this is the right no that's right like so like that okay and then let's do this again left let's try to bring this down just a little bit and then right bring it up just a little and then the middle can go right there okay this is starting to feel a little bit more yeah it's starting to feel a little bit more decent Ooh, look at this cute little sheer curtain that i can just pop in the middle of this and it doesn't look too bad actually Ooh, i'm gonna put that put that right in the back here just kind of hide it up hide that a little bit Ooh, look at this this is kind of cute it's kind of cute i don't think it looks bad okay let's check out these ones this is short linen we're just gonna put this here this here this here that there and we're gonna do the same thing for the living room here 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 this this that this that and that i don't think people have curtains in their kitchens so i'm probably gonna erase these from here and let's do left right right left this needs to go up like that okay and then let's do left this needs to come down like this and go over a little bit like this and right right needs to come like this this needs to go down a little bit like this and then the middle part goes right there oh okay kitchen is starting to look a little better and i think we're gonna change the i think we're gonna change the kitchen counters the counters and the cabinets so we're gonna do If I remember correctly, I had this farmhouse kitchen cabinet set. So we're going to do this one. Uh, we're going to need uh, the half one here, this one here, this one here, the half one here, and another half one just above the refrigerator. I'm going to change the refrigerator as well. This time, I'm going to do this refrigerator. I think this one is super cute, super cozy. And I'm also going to change the counters. And we're going to do farmhouse counters as well. So we're going to sell this. Time to spend a little bit more money in our house so we can get better efficiency. Let's sell that. Let's sell this. Let's sell this. And let's sell this. And let's get the proper counter... The proper counter ones let's get that this uh the corner version of this and the end piece for no i'm not gonna get an end piece i'm just gonna do this right here and we also have an island which is like a very small island um but it's an island nonetheless so we're gonna put the island right here cute little table goes in the corner over here like that or maybe we can even do a different table let me see if i can get some island stools some that look good in this particular kitchen oh this is cute this don't really match but i mean i don't feel like it matches let me bag that up for a little bit and then we can just use these ones instead and uh for the kitchen dining room actually i think we're gonna use a square table this time because we were using something that was a little bit out of the ordinary so i'll use a square table and i'll just use these chairs i'll use three of them this time just put them there like this sell this table and then we're gonna get like a small bar and we do have quite a little bit of small, we do have quite a few small bars that we can put in here. So I'll probably just put this little bar thing right in the corner. 
I wanted to have the table in front, but I'm gonna have to move that. And then I'll just kind of duplicate this plant. Let's do shift click, duplicate the plant and put it in a corner here. And they just have this nice little tiny kitchen for now. Um, and then we're gonna have to try and see if we can get like a nursery or something. So we're definitely gonna need to, we're definitely gonna need to have like a nursery for when they do decide to have a kid. But for the time being, I think what's best is maybe just adding a crib to their room for when they have the infant. Uh, this curtain can come over here just a little bit more. So can this one. This can come down just a teensy bit more and the crib can stay right over there for now. I think we do have a lot more cuter cribs, but for now, this is just what we're going to use. Um, we can even use one of the cribs by Cow Builder, even this nice one here. Maybe even this cute little one here. This one here. This is so cute. This is like super cute and it matches their room too. Oh, this is a perfect little infant bed. I like that. That's super cute. So we can put that right there. And that is going to be all that I'm going to put down for now. The little house is so cute. Okay, I need to purchase a light controller. And since it's in your inventory, I'm going to go ahead and pop that on the wall here. And set visibility. We're gonna hide all so we don't see those little white things that were floating around in the air it is up he's up in the morning he really needs to pee oh wait we do need better toilets did he just literally glitch back into the bed i'm dead i'm deceased okay let's go ahead and grab um we have a sink already we need a toilet let's go ahead and grab this toilet right here and i also want to change the um the shower And maybe we'll give them this shower right here. This is cute. Cute marble shower. I'll give them that. And I want to have like a like a, a hamper. A place for them to put their dirty laundry. Okay, this is cute. This is really cute. I don't think we needed an extra plant in here, but this is really cute. All right, so he's going to go ahead and use the toilet because he really needs to go. Go ahead and use the toilet. And she is going to go ahead and wake up out of the bed and prepare some proper breakfast this morning. We actually have food. We actually have proper um, stuff to make food. Let's cook a custom meal. And today we're going to make sunny side up eggs. We're going to do a, a family size serving of that. Maurice, you can go ahead and take you a nice shower. Take a shower and then you can shave. You could shave your facial hair. So he's going to go ahead and do that because, you know, he's trying to look cute. He's trying to look cute for his girl. So he's going to go ahead and take him a shower, freshen up that kind of stuff we're also going to need to buy a lawnmower because there is grass growing uh use lawnmower outdoor activities section of build by catalog oh that's gonna take some time okay i have an idea of where we can put the extra room i'm actually gonna build the extra room right now i'm gonna build it I'm not going to put anything in the extra room yet, but I think I'm just going to build it right here. This kid is going to be one spoiled ass kid because he's going to have a whole extra room. Big room too. Okay, let's just grab this wallpaper, put this right here. Bring the roof back some. And then we're going to add two little windows on the back. I feel like the kid's room is bigger than a parent's room, but I mean, it is worth doing it that way. So just in case they end up having like two kids or whatever, they'll be lots more room for the kids. 
and I'll just bring the wall for the entire house is white. I love it. I love it. Okay. And we're going to take this, put that in here. We're going to delete this door. And we're going to change up the door and put this one instead. So there's going to be a door right here. And we're just going to drag these curtains. like this i think you need to go here we're gonna do the same thing for this grab this move this over here move that over here grab that delete this and this Move that window, bring it up a bit, bring this one up, bring this one up. And the door will just be like right here. And then we can have like some photos on the wall here. And I will make like a nicer living room. I'll make the living room like a little bit more centered and I'll probably move the bedroom door and probably put it in this corner here so that the living room has a little bit more of a focal area. But this is going to be the kids room. It's going to be like the the infant's room and this room is big enough that it could literally be split down the middle to make two separate rooms so yeah we have a nice house it's not the best house but this is where we live right now i'm probably gonna add a tree out front because it looks a little bare i'm gonna put one tree here and i'm gonna put another tree right there and some grass and shrubbery to make it look a little better let's put some let's put some of this grass down and uh this cute little bush and on the sides we can put this right here and then put this right here like that like so oh that is cute and then we can have a little pathway that just leads straight up to the front door so let me do stone and we can do this there we go and we need some wood on our porch so we'll just do this and maybe a nice little window box or something. We can say we live at number seven. Right there. That's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, so that's going to be all we're going to put down for now. Hey, Flappy Bird. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I was just, like, in my zone. Literally. Um, Because I'm about to wrap up right now. Um, Yeah, I'm literally about to wrap up. So this is their house. This is where they're going to be living. In the next stream that I do, which is probably going to be next weekend, I really want to focus on them having kids because I'm trying to get them to, you know, woohoo or try for pregnancy and they just won't do it. I don't know what's going on. Oh, wait. He's coming to chat with her. He can finally woohoo in the shower. So since he can woohoo in the shower with her, Maybe they can try for a baby in the shower. Uh, it doesn't seem like they can try for a baby in the shower. Was that a secret interaction that I had at some point? Why are you walking? You know what? I don't even care. They are both going to go ahead and woohoo. They are woohooing for the first time before we end off our stream. And I hope she's pregnant. Oh, Lord. I would love it if she's pregnant. No protection was used, so I think I'm going to go ahead and um, have her take a pregnancy test. Go ahead, take a pregnancy test. Please be pregnant. Please be pregnant, baby. I am trying to end off this episode on a good note. I'm trying to end off my stream on a good note. Are you pregnant? No, she's not pregnant. Oh, Lord Jesus. She's not pregnant, y'all. Um, try for pregnancy. 
I swear to God, if y'all don't hit up this bed to try for pregnancy, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? And it's going to cause some issues in a relationship, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to impregnate her with MC Command Search because I don't have time for this. I don't. MC Pregnancy. Pregnancy Start. But what the hell? I can't even knock her up with... Immediately start a pregnancy for Ocean Moon using Ocean as the other parent. No! I want her to be pregnant, but by him. Oh my god. Okay, maybe if I maybe if she clicks her own self, she'll be able to do it. MC pregnancy. Pregnancy start. It's not even showing. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? This is so annoying. Maybe it's the bed. Do you think it's a bed? I think it's the bed. Oh my god, just so annoying. This is so annoying. I want her to be knocked up, and she just won't be knocked up. Maybe it's the bed. Let's get y'all a fancy bougie bed. If I get y'all an expensive bed and y'all don't even woohoo in it, I'm going to be so heartbroken. So stop playing with my emotions and get inside this bed and boohoo. Try for a baby. I need to, for y'all to have a baby. Oh, look at this suitcase pet bed. That's so cute. Oh, look at this cat one. Oh, oh look at this cat one. Oh. Okay, oh, look at this. I still just love that. Oh, look at this toddler bed. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I need to find a bed that both of my adults. $120,000 for a bed? Jesus Christ, that is one expensive ass bed this fox bed is so cute this bed here is gorgeous as well look at this teddy bear head bed let's bring it to the front a little bit and let's see if we can throw a mattress on here oh cute mattress okay let's get you a nice flavor pink we're just gonna go with pink okay because i'm not in a mood we could do pink or we could do white i think i'm just gonna do a plain white one and do we have like these nice cute bed covers because i think we do Ooh, this bed is cute too Ooh, this bed looks good too oh my gosh and it has green there's this cute yellow Oh, there's even this other green one. There's this one. Oh, that's cute. Okay, can you guys try for a pregnancy in this bed? Try for a pregnancy with Maurice Pace. I think maybe it was the bed, actually. She's going to chat with him, but can you try for a pregnancy with him? Try for a pregnancy with Maurice Pace. Okay, it seems like that's what she's doing. I'm going to try like three times. She has to get knocked up. What the actual freaking hell? is going on i mean at least the bed worked but what the hell was that come on before we end off the stream you have to be knocked up i don't know what is going on with this bed but i will change it as soon as you what the f is going on with the bed mm -mm, no i was like oh my god this bed is so cute but look at how warped it gets Let's get a different mattress. Is it the mattress or is it the bed frame? I, at this point, y'all, I really don't even know. I really don't even know. Um, Let's get a different mattress. What about this one? Ooh, these are some nice, bougie, beautiful colors. Oh, I like this. I like these colors. Okay, let's take this one. Okay, let's try this one more time. We'll try for pregnancy. If it does the same thing again, I'm just going to assume... Okay, so it was the mattress. Something was up with that mattress, child. Okay, no protection was used. Please tell me she's pregnant now. Go to the toilet, pee. So we can end off this stream on a good note. Oh, hallelujah. There's going to be a new addition to this... Fa what is... What was this? What was he... What was that? Wet clothes, hungry, 
Flying with no parachute. Flying with no parachute. Please, girl, come over here and tell this man that you're pregnant. Because before, y'all used to rush to tell tell your man that you're pregnant. But now, you're acting all slick. Dewey, please, now is not the time. Pregnancy and family. Pregnancy and family. I share the big news. I'm glad you had a great time, Dewey. She's like, I Surprise. am pregnant. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's like, oh, thank God. I knew you were going to be pregnant. I really put it down in the bedroom. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off this stream because I am in some serious stomach pain and I really need to go lay down. I'm going to end off this stream on a good note. My sim is knocked up. She is she is so pregnant and this man is so happy that he is singing jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way more like jingle balls jingle balls jingle all the way but anyways we're gonna go ahead and end off this stream i am so proud of myself i built a nice little house for them the kid now has a bedroom it's not even born yet but it already has a bedroom um the next episode, I kind of want to have them because we haven't been going out much, right? And in the next episode, I kind of want to have them go out on a nice date on the town. I think we should probably go to a restaurant, have a nice little dinner, that kind of stuff. Just let them have the moments that they need to have. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and end off this stream. Thank you so, so much for coming by and checking out my stream. If you enjoy this stream, you can also go ahead to my channel and check out some of my older videos. I will be uploading newer videos. Uh, subscribe and leave a like. And thank you guys so much for coming by.